What is going on people? Triple M back again with another video. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I would like to discuss the potential new Chelsea head coach as over the last couple of hours we've seen reports from the likes of Fabrizio Romano, we've seen reports from Ben Jacobs, we've seen reports from multiple other credible journalists suggesting that Chelsea Football Club are closing in on their next managerial appointment and the man who's been mentioned is none other than Enzo Medesca. Quite a left field and surprising appointment especially compared to some of the other names that Chelsea Football Club were linked with and supposedly Chelsea have agreed terms for a two-year contract with the option of an extension, a one-year extension with Enzo Medesca. So it looks like this is picking up steam and it looks like this is actually happening and I would like to just talk about this because I'm someone who still feels as a Man United fan I feel very confused about why Chelsea sacked Meritio Pochettino. I still don't quite fully understand it. I still don't necessarily think it was the best decision and just the timing of it felt very off but seemingly Chelsea are going down this route of still wanting a developmental manager, still wanting somebody who's going to be able to work with this young squad and has a good background in working with young players. And that's where Enzo Medesca enters the frame because for those of you who don't know him, I didn't know much about him before making this video. I did a lot of research just into his background as a coach and he's worked as a part of Manchester City's uh, developmental team or their U team and he's been on the coaching staff with Pep Guardiola. He actually, I believe, was the assistant manager around the time that Pep Guardiola completed the treble just a year ago before getting the Leicester job. He also had experience as a coach in Serie B with uh, the Italian side Parma. That unfortunately did not last very long. I believe he was removed as head coach after about 14 games, but still it is a valuable experience, a learning experience. You know, oftentimes we clown managers for having a bad run or having a bad job but at the end of the day we forget that that's where you learn the most right as a manager or as a coach as part of a coaching setup you learn the most in difficult and turbulent times and so it just becomes then about how you bounce back and he did bounce back because he went to Leicester City became the head coach and he immediately got them promoted finishing first place in the championship and playing a very progressive style of football now in terms of his approach to the game tactically he's obviously a student of the Pep Guardiola system so he puts heavy emphasis on positional play and being a good possession-based side. This is a guy who loves to build up from the back. He wants his goalkeepers to be technically sound and be an integral part of playing out from the back. He's somebody who wants to play with at least one inverted fullback so that he can allow two of his midfielders to push up whilst one midfielder sits in the pivot and one fullback sits in the pivot and creates a, a solid base uh, or foundation at every build-up and then just tries to create overloads in the opposition half. Very, very similar to Pep Guardiola, very similar to Mikel Arteta as well as he worked uh, as a part of a coaching setup there. And what's even more interesting away from the tactical stuff is how good he is with young players because I believe he also coached the Manchester City youth team and led them to a Premier League title. I don't really know what the youth... Premier League is actually called what the official name is but he won the Premier League title with Cole Palmer, Lavia and Doyle in his team so the funny thing is he will actually have some of those players at Chelsea um, which is interesting so he's somebody who's very good with young players he's somebody who plays a very progressive brand of football and he's somebody who seems to fit the model that Chelsea Football Club are going for because when you look at Chelsea Football Club's players and their transfer policy in terms of who they've signed and how they've built their squad. They've clearly gone for the young approach and they're clearly going for the potential rather than the immediate experience. And so that is backed up too by their managerial appointment. And I'm not going to lie, if I was a Chelsea fan, alarm bells would be going off in my head because I, all I would see is just red flags all over the place. And that's got nothing to do with Enzo Moresca specifically, but more with Chelsea's model and how they've approached that model, right? You look at how Graham Potter was treated, you look at how Maurizio Pochettino was treated, and then even to a certain extent how Thomas Tuchel was treated, it's clear that this ownership model are not willing to give managers time. If they see something wrong in the immediate to short term, they are very quickly going to pull the trigger. And so it contradicts the idea of going for a developmental coach because when you go for a young coach who's inexperienced it comes with the acknowledgement and the understanding that this is a huge risk and he's going to need more time than the average man manager at that elite level and so I think for Enzo Medesca what he needs is the support and the backing from Chelsea fans and the board more importantly I'm not convinced he's going to get it I think we're going to be set here maybe less than two years possibly two years but probably less than two years from now 
talking about another Chelsea manager biting the dust. And that is just Chelsea Football Club in a nutshell. That's just who they are at this point. Regardless of whether or not Roman Abramovich is, has left, you know, even if he was still here, they'd probably still be doing the same thing. Granted, their model would be a little bit different and their profiles in terms of players and managers would be a little bit different. But the, the timing of sacking managers would probably be, still be the same. This club is absolutely ludicrous. And again, Enzo Maresca seems like he's got a lot of potential. He seems like there is something worth believing in there and something worth getting excited about. It's just about the wider context and who Chelsea Football Club are. And more importantly, what they are and where they are at the moment. There is just too many red flags. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you agree, if you disagree, whether you're a rival fan like me or if you actually do support Chelsea Football Club, it would be nice to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been your boy Triple M. Don't forget to leave a like. Peace.